Okay, so after yesterday's video where I talked about building this box or doing the first part of how to build this little toolbox I built for myself, uh, one thing I kind of didn't really uh, pay much um, mind to, but I actually got some emails about was that little logo in the bottom right corner there. Uh, basically, wanted to know how I how I made that. Um, it's a combination of a 3D printer uh, and for the actual like, the little lettering and then a uh, I used a CNC router to mill out the little circle to put it in. So um, since I did get some questions, I decided to put it together a real quick tutorial of the workflow that I use based on the tools I have access to. Um, but maybe if nothing else, it'll give you an idea of what you can do to tinker with some of your projects and add a little personal flair. But basically, it just went from uh, hand drawing something in a um, drawing application and then... Uh, exporting that out and then working it through uh, a couple other tools so uh, with that here's the video on what I did and uh, if you have any other questions uh, feel free to email appreciate it what I want to do now is to basically take my little um, logo my little MVP uh, that I etch on all my stuff and make it into a digital file that I can use for my CNC router or to 3d print um, so I'm going to use uh, what was formerly known as iDraw. It's now uh, an Autodesk application called Graphic. And I'm going to just go ahead and basically uh, digitally sketch out my signature, little emblem, logo, whatever you want to call it. And we're going to save it as an SVG. And then for CNC routing, that's all we have to do with it. And then uh, we have one more step we'll have to do to... Um, use this uh, for 3d printing so let me just go ahead and real quick and uh, see if we can make this look halfway decent uh, that's not too bad we'll see if we can work on it offline uh, but at this point what we'll do is go hit it up here and hit file save as Save this to put it for the desktop for right now, and we want to make this. Uh, let's put it the uh, logo, and then we'll export it as an SVG. Dot 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 dot. All right, and then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, so we're going to use uh, Autodesk 123D Design to go ahead and import our SVG as a solid. And let's see here. There's the SVG. Boom. Okay. So let's clean this up a little bit here. Orbit this around a little bit. All right. So let's go ahead and delete these parts here in the middle and there's one there's two and let's go ahead and bring this down a bit it's a little tall for my liking so we'll go ahead and tell it to extrude and we'll go down like um i don't know negative 50 millimeters let's see how that looks yeah that's not too bad that should work all right so then we'll go ahead and file export as a 3d stl that's great Save this to put this onto my hard drive and call this logo. Okay. All right. Then we'll go ahead and dump this into Cura, which is what I use to drive my uh, printer bot simple metal. And we'll take a look at how that looks next. All right. So I've gone ahead and fired up Cura. Let's go ahead and load our STL file which is right here wow it's a little big let's go ahead and scale that down uh, let's try let's go down to maybe 15% let's see how that looks 
Yeah, there we go. All right, so it's going to spill about 23 minutes uh, to print about three quarters of a meter of our filament. And let's just take a look how that looks. Yeah, that'll be a nice 3D printed little uh, logo right there. <laughs> Alright, we're going to use uh, uh, XCarve, so we're going to use their website, Inventables. Uh, they have a thing called Easel. Uh, it's a web app that lets you uh, control it. So we're going to go ahead and import our SVG file from before. Well, where was that? There it is. Alright, so we've got it imported. Uh, some things to pay attention to. Uh, over here are the little, um, the red indicates that the drill bit may have a, an issue getting into some of these tight spots, so you can do things like adjust the bit size, go to a smaller drill bit if you have it. Um, you can also come over here and adjust the depth of the cut. You can make the cut a little bit less deep. That might clean it up. So just play around with those kind of settings. You can also change the type of cut out here. You can do a fill, an outline. That's the project in a nutshell. That's the workflow that I've used. If you've got any questions, again, feel free to uh, send us an email. And with that, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll get the new video up soon that we'll start diving into the electronics. So check back for that one soon.